Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Unit Six, Part E. This is minor disorders of newborn. Minor in the sense, a very minute problem, small small problems. First, you can see in head and neck. In this, if you see, there will be a molding, and this is nothing but uh, head. Maybe sometimes in an asymmetric way, there will be a bulge, not bulge, like there will be a bit kind of bulgy head. We can fix it by just molding. And next we have cephalohematoma. Cephalohematoma is nothing but hemorrhage in the head. Hemorrhage in the head is really a big problem. But in this condition you can see there will be no discoloration. In head there is no red color or brownish color discoloration. So since there is not any kind of discoloration it will automatically get reduced within 2 to 3 weeks. No need to worry about it. Apart from this there are many but this both are the common ones. Next, eyes and nose. In this, you can see the stuffy nose. Because of nose is blocked, the baby breathes with the help of mouth. When the baby is breathing with the help of mouth, there will be problem in the feeding. And even vomiting will be more frequently seen. For this, we need to clean the nose properly. And generally, it is cleaned with the normal saline. Next, sticky eyes. Sticky eyes is like the baby will be almost closing its eyes and there will be a discharge around the eyes. This is because of the conjunctivitis. An infection that is seen around the eyes. And this is mainly due to the staphylococcus and the treatment that is provided for this condition is erythromycin ointment which is it is advised to apply around the eyes for every 6 hours for 10 days. And within that you can see the result it will be disappeared. Next, subconjunctiva hemorrhage. This is caused because of the vascular tension. That is at the time of delivery there will be a pressure. Because of that this will be occurred. And it also disappears within few days. Next, mouth and chest. Uh, this condition is very rare that is precocious teeth. The teeth present in the baby's oral cavity before the birth itself. And no need to worry, it will fall off eventually. Oral trash, that is nothing but the infection in the oral cavity. It is all because of Candida albicus. And it is seen in a baby around first or second week. And for this an oral solution will be provided. 0.5 percentage of aqueous solution of gentian violet and next neonatal breast engorgement swelling in the breast area and it is seen in both gender maybe a boy or girl this is seen because of the endocrine secretion mother provides lots of enzymes lots of hormones because of those withdrawal now the baby's breast is engorged no need to worry, it will get normal eventually. GI and abdomen. In this, the first thing is regurgitation of vomiting. That is vomiting or throwing out the partially digested food. After giving breastfeeding, we will advise the mother to burp the baby. That is taking the baby on the shoulder or making the baby to lie down on its stomach or uh, making the baby to sit straightly and after that we will rub on his spine that is burping by doing that the regurgitation will not occur umbilical hernia in the umbilical region that is in belly region the intestine will try to come out like if you think this is belly button it will be like this like a finger like bulger position this is umbilical hernia the intestine region is trying to come out through belly button. It is not exposed. It can be considered in two ways, either minor or major. In minor conditions, the treatment is not really required. It will automatically get in. But if it is really severe condition, a surgical will be provided. Next, umbilical sepsis. This is nothing but an infection in the code and uh, cleanliness is the only way and even ointment will be provided to cure this. 
these are the minor disorder of the newborn these are very minor that big treatment is not really necessary it will eventually disappear questions will be provided at the end of the chapter until then stay tuned bye